of Teenage Wasteland is to bring back rock and roll. I mean, it's not dead, it's just in hibernation and we're gonna, we're gonna wake the sleeping bear. Just take rock and roll and just make it new. Me having a close friend, uh, and Gabe having a close friend. We had a mutual, mutual friend of Hunter Helfrich, the bass player. I was with Gabe one day and uh, we were actually riding bikes to Motor City Guitar and we were, we've were we been thinking about forming a band. He brought up the possibility of us like going over to this kid named Nick's house. I was like, he plays guitar, doesn't he? He's like, yeah. I'm like, you know what, I'd like to hear him play. He one day just said, hey, let's jam. We got together, we played Stairway to Heaven and Comfortably Numb. We were just playing Stairway to Heaven and then it was like, right when it finished, it was like, this is it. This is, we gotta do this. And how, how did you become a part of the band? Um, they were, uh, you know, Teenage Wasteland was a band long before I came in. We were at this little, little place over in Waterford on 59 called Thrive and it's like a creative studio and I was, um, I was just kind of, um, you know, passing the time between uh, acts and open mic and I was doing stand-up. All the original members of Teenage Wasteland were in the crowd and I had made a, a, a Rush reference and I, I heard them all go woo. I went back there and talked to them and that was it. We jammed the next day and we became a band. that uh, most of the greatest bands are the uh, classic rockers of the 70s. Rush, Metallica, Jimi Hendrix, ACDC, Van Halen, Motley Crue. Guns N' Roses, yeah, for sure. The Beatles, Jefferson Airplane, Cream. Black Sabbath, I love those guys. Love me some Sabbath. I really dig Sabbath. Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd is really good. Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin, of course. Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin, of course. You know, all those classic bands, you know. <laughs> I'd say I extract most of my influences from uh, the work of Jimi Hendrix, Jimmy Page, Eric Clapton. Robert Plant's a big influence. Uh, Steve Perry's a big influence. He was of Journey. He was really like the the first kind of guy that I, you know, wanted to model my singing after. Geddy Lee, John Paul Jones. <laughs> uh, Cliff Burton from Metallica. Flea is a big influence. He's a big inspiration in my stage show, just nuts. I really like Matt Cameron, the drummer from Soundgarden. He's really, really good. Mitch Mitchell of uh, Jimi Hendrix. Dave Grohl is a monster musician. Neil Peart is probably the greatest drummer alive. You know, even even Chris Cornell, the, uh, the front man of Soundgarden, he was he was a drummer when he started out, and uh, you know, I still kind of look to him as you know. I feel like he's got kind of the same attitude with stardom as I do. Sort of, you know, it's kind of reserved. You know, you have your fun, but you're not basking in it. Teenage Wasteland is really trying to sort of introduce some of these people to rock and roll. Basically, to uh, bring back that raw energy of rock and roll to the music scene. We want to break away from the norm, you know, get our music to where it doesn't sound like anything else. Yeah, I mean, it's just to bring back rock and roll, uh, just play the best we can, you know, if. If people don't dig us, that's fine. They're just kind of, you know, listening to their, to their pop music, which is fine. If, but I mean, you, there's no, there's no feeling in that. Pop music sucks. 
pretty hard. It's all just, you know, drinks and cars and, you know, it's just all stereotypical stuff. I believe we can uh, stand out uh, because of the popularity of pop music in today's uh, music culture. We don't sound like anybody and so that's, I think that's what the people sort of need in a rock band. And that's, I think we can provide that. It sounds like it was recorded in the modern day, you know, it's not like something that your dad would listen to. Maybe uh, people can be reminded that uh, rock and roll f***ing kicks ass. This is like, you know, something I think modern kids might like. Uh, you know, just check it out. If you like it, you do. If you don't, it's whatever. Yeah. Not a big deal. Music is the ultimate drug. It makes me feel all the emotions I want to feel. It, a happy song can make me feel great, a sad song can bring me down. I can feel relaxed, energetic, uplifted. I can get all the emotions I want just by putting on a song. It's an escape, it's just an alternate reality. It just makes me feel, makes me feel empowered. It, it's kind of like the, uh, the, the backdrop to my entire existence. Why it, it takes me into a different place that I can, I can relax. It makes me feel like I'm doing good in this world. It's my heart and soul. It's who I am. It makes me, and I, you know, try to give back to mother music. When I play music, I can, I can express myself however I want, you know, be it on drums or on a guitar. Just playing my bass and just blasting away the audience's eyebrows. <laughs> I think it's the greatest it's the greatest feeling in the world. It brings it brings upon parts of you that you never knew were there. What is your favorite part of being in a band? Where do I start? Just getting together with my best buds and playing music. It's like that's you know, that's that's where I get my most joy in life. It's something that I've never felt before, um, and it's really it's really fun to be able to play music with other guys who are into the same kind of music. I like I just love jamming, and having a good time, just having some buds to chill with. Basically, just the energy of uh, of it all. Coming down to the dimly lit basement, playing music, you know, and hanging out with my buddies, and it's just. That's all you can ask for in a band. You never know what to expect from practices. I can't, I don't even, I, I don't even have words to describe what we normally do. There's a lot of music playing and a lot of goofing around. Sometimes it can, it can be a complete blowout. You know, we could be bouncing off the walls playing video games, you know, waving, waving plastic guns at each other, whatever it is we want to do. Basically, just, uh, have a good time and enjoy the music that's uh, coming out of our amplifiers. We definitely have our fun, but you know, at the end of the day, uh, we're always able to get the job done. And uh, you know, uh, it, it seems like every practice is always like, we've done something new. And I think that's really the goal. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of heat about this, um, about this debut EP. Uh, what can we expect from the, de the debut album? In a wood? pleasure. You can expect some dirty guitar riffs, some freaking shredding drums. Heavy bass and just vocals to wrap it all up together that really remind you of, of you know, uh, you know, classic harder rock, but also, you know, it sounds like it was recorded in the modern day. It's going to be a lot of, you know, high energy, a lot of pump up, 
really just dirty rock songs that'll just get you off your feet. We got some original material coming out soon. I'm looking at all the people out there that are wanting to change in music. You know, I, I feel like there are people who are tired of hearing the same old stuff on the radio and the same old blah, blah, blah. Teenage Wasteland is going to rock your socks off. We're coming out with our new album soon. You got to look for it. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna rock your house, man. We're gonna rock the world. So if you guys want something new, or if you're just curious to see how Teenage Wasteland sounds, check us out. We have some songs coming out soon, some original material, and I think that you guys, if you give it a shot, will truly enjoy it. Rock on.